Welcome back, mathematicians. As promised, I am going to show you how, by looking at uh, this problem, 3 and 2 fifths times 4 and 1 third, we can actually estimate around where the answer is going to be and use some number sense to reason out, um, based on our number sense, where the, where the product is going to lie um, and what it's going to be about. So if I think about what 3 and 2 fifths means, it means 3 plus 2 fifths of another whole. So 3 and 2 fifths lies between the whole numbers 3 and 4. So if I plot that here, the halfway mark is somewhere around right here. Okay, and now I'm going to partition uh, the whole into five equal pieces because that's what three and two fifths means. Let's see if I have five equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And three and two fifths is located right here. Three and one fifth, three and two fifths. So that's where. 3 and 2 fifths is located. And then if I think about where 4 and 1 third is located, it has to be between the whole number 4 and the next whole number, which is 5. So I'll plot that right over here. Four and 1 third is between 4 and 5. And the halfway mark is somewhere right here. And then I'll partition the whole into three equal parts because that's what the denominator tells me to do. One equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts. Okay, and four and one third is located right here. That's four and one third. Okay, now looking at this, I see that 3 and 2 fifths is more than 3, and 4 and 1 third is more than 4. So therefore, I know that the product of 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third has to be more than the product of 3 and 4. So what's 3 times 4? 12. So I know the answer has to be answer has to be greater than 12. Um, but I know that 3 and 2 fifths is less than 4, and 4 and 1 third is less than 5. So and when I say less than, I mean uh, to the left of, to the left of. 3 and 2 fifths is to the left of 4, and 4 and 1 third is to the left of 5. Um, so the answer has to be less than 4 times 5, which is going to be, the answer is less than 4 times 5, which is 20. So I know whatever the answer is, it has to be greater than 12, but less than 20. And if I look at the answer, it is more than 12, but less than 20. Now, let's see where it's actually closer to. All right, so I see that 3 and 2 fifths is closer to 3 or 4. Well, in order for it to be closer to 4, it would have to be halfway or more. But it's not, so it's closer to 3. And 4 and 1 third, in order for it to be closer to 5, would have to be halfway or more. But it's not, so it's closer to 4. So what is 3 times 4? So the answer is going to be close to 12. And it is. 14 and, and 11 fifteenths is close to 12, closer to 12 than it is to 20. And that is how I can use my math reasoning skills and my number sense to figure out um, what the product is approximately supposed to be. So if I'm looking at um, my answer, and this is, say, 4 and 11 fifteenths, I know the answer can't make sense because 4 is not more than 12. And I know if this answer was, say, 34 and 11 fifteenths, 
the answer couldn't make sense because it had to be less than 20. So this is one way to check the reasonableness of your answer. Going back to the math practice that states um, being able to reason abstractly and quantitatively. Um, so I hope that you uh, are using these math practices and making sense of what your answers are and thinking about the reasonableness of them as you compute and uh, find products of mixed numbers. Please continue to use uh, these computation strategies to check the reasonableness of your answers in all of the work that you do. Best of focus with math and uh, always attend to precision. Thank you and have a great day.